We've spent the last year building this beautiful one acre farm, but now we bought 10 acres and are turning it into the ultimate tiny farm. So let's jump right into it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe. And it is a beautiful July day, 10 in the morning. We've got $1.2 million on our 10 acre farm. We had $1.2 million after we sold our one acre farm and moved here to New Jersey. So we have now broke even on the bank account. But down here, we have got a bunch of greenhouses and we are going to put in an entire couple rows more. The beautiful thing about these is they let me section them into these grid and these are very cheap and easy to replace should we need to replace them or put something else completely eventually. These are just kind of like starter placements to start earning some money off the land. But speaking of earning money, we need to get things going here at our coffee plant because this place has earned $2.3 million. I mean, that is insane. So I'm going to do my little rounds here of getting all the liquid fertilizer filled up and I'll check in with you guys once I've got all this completed. And just like that, we've got all of these filled up with fertilizer and you'll see we have $453,000 now. I actually transferred $2 million over to our investment company because that lets us borrow against the money we already have and get $500,000, which will allow us to send that money from our investment company into a brand new company called Allied Energy. So now we have $500,000 to start a renewable energy company. And what I'm thinking is we'll have wind turbines and solar fields, you know, the whole works, any everything we can think of. And check it out. We have a new truck for the energy company. This actually, this thing is ridiculously fast. Look at this thing go. Oh, imagine you see the energy guy go past you at 115. What do you think? You know, you never know who's going to go through an intersection at 117. Man, this thing drives super smooth for this speed, too. This is a good truck ride here. And right back here in the middle of the woods is a big solar farm that I saw for sale. And that's how I got the idea to start an energy company. So we're going to buy this solar farm for $420,000. And we'll see how long it takes for us to earn that money back. Our energy company now has $37,000. And I hope I won't regret this investment. I guess we'll see how it goes. Now I'm going to focus back on on our Vineland Gardens here. As you can see, we've got a little corner of our seven acres ready to go and being kind of sort of used. Like I said, that these are good pads that we can replace if we want to later. But we can see where our roads are running right through here, through there. We'll have another one coming right down this center. That means we have this whole area right here that I want to fill in. So the first thing we're going to do is get our roads in here. Now to fill the space and get things going, I'm going to go ahead and start placing these foil tents down because these are great placeholders that are very cheap to build and they make a nice large level pad that I can use to build whatever we need in the future on these spots. It's starting to look like a bunch of uh, Crispitos. Y'all remember like the Crispitos from school lunch? That's what I'm kind of getting at here. That's what, it, that's what makes me think about. And I I think that's about where that needs to be put right there. Well, I must have been off just a little bit. Ain't that disappointing. But they don't have to be perfect. The point is, is we got them installed. I have got to admit, that is a whole lot of foil gardens. I mean, now there's the middle road and then the new batch that we just put in. Some of them are floating. Don't mind that. I'll get it fixed. But otherwise, that looks pretty darn good. I'm going to be happy with that. And the day's coming to an end, so I'm going to go inside and get something to eat and we'll catch y'all in the morning. The next morning. Morning. Ah, nothing better than an August morning, am I right? I'm just checking on our greenhouses this morning. Really, that was a chainsaw. Don't mind that. I just was, I, I was going to chainsaw some lettuce. You know me. But really, everything's looking pretty good out here. I mean, they all have water. They're all producing. I mean, they all look pretty well maintained, too. I'm not going to complain about that too much. We might need put a little fertilizer in here. Eh, it needs a little bit, but not too much. I can wait a second. Wow, look at that. It's impressive to see the morning sun glistening off the top of all of our foil tunnels down here. This is, well, don't look at those ones. But this one over here is really cool. You know how I said I'd fix these? I haven't gotten around to it. Okay, eat me. But if we sneak over to our coffee production facility, we'll see that these are getting a little low. We probably might as well go through and top all these off like we normally do. But I'd like to quickly transfer 1.4 million over to our investments company. We now got almost 3.4 million dollars sitting in that. I gotta be honest, guys. Wouldn't it be nice to say you had 3.4 million dollars in real life too. Oh, 
Ugh. If you keep hitting that like button and subscribing, we might have a chance at getting a tenth of the way there, am I right? How much would a tenth of that be? This is coming from a guy who can't math. Perhaps that's why I'm not worth millions. But I tell you what is, these darn beans, my lord. Who knew coffee beans could be worth so much, dude? I mean, really, this job is so easy. If you told me all I had to do was drive around in a circle and put a little fertilizer in a greenhouse here and there, and I can make nearly two million dollars a month, oh uh, yeah, I would do that. I would do that in a heartbeat. <laughs> well, while that's filling up, oh, you know, I just wanted to see how much money we could borrow under our investment company. It's, uh, it's a lot. I want to quickly take a chance to look through some of these stock. I think I'm going to risk it and buy some JCB. It's down more over the last seven days than it is in the last 24 hours. I'm going to hope that that means it's going to start to rebound here. Well, we'll go in at about 20 shares of that. So we bought 30 shares today. I know absolutely nothing about any of this. So hey, if we make money, we make money. It's not like that took a huge dent out of our $3 million. And that, my friends, is why mass capital is such an unfair advantage. I mean, we can make risky plays just because there is very little risk when you have so much money. I'll tell you this, the rich keep getting richer. Let's hope that we can be one of them here, huh? Well, we finished up about nine o'clock here. It's been raining, but I think it's going to be clearing up here in a few hours. So we're going to get this filling up once again. And while that fills, I'm just sitting here thinking, guys, if I wanted to be really greedy, we could borrow some money off of our three million dollars here, invest it heavily back into our coffee company, buy the sunflower field that this farmer owns, and then just do a massive... I can't get across my own fence. My own fence is doing pretty well. Maybe the orange man was onto something. It's because I'm a white boy, isn't it? White boys can't jump. Babe, you're white. You can't jump. We could buy out this entire field of sunflowers and make it just a massive coffee bean production facility. I mean, this little less than an acre is making us nearly $2 million a month. So what would happen if we added all of that on? How many more could we fit on six more acres? Ooh. So we could have 60 more. We'd have 70 of them total. If we just look at our finances real quick, 1.6 million made by 10 of them means we're making 160,000 a piece multiplied by 70. $11.2 million a month. A month if we did that. You know what I'm thinking? If there's no government agency here to stop me, then let's just be greedy, baby. Let's do it. It's gonna take about a million dollars. We're gonna send that over the course of two, 20 years. And uh, yeah, we'll just take the loan, dude. And now we're gonna transfer that one million dollars over to our coffee company and we'll buy that piece of land and that piece of land. Okay, we did it. I am so sorry, everyone, but I let the intrusive thoughts get me. I saw the opportunity to make completely unregulated financial gains and I jumped at it, okay? Excellent. Just be happy that that isn't how life works. <laughs> While we're at it, we're going to open up that little fence way right there. Look at that, planning ahead. You'd think I meant to do this the whole entire time. I know what you're thinking. Hey, Jake, what's the point of this wall right here if you're just going to put in more of those? Don't ask questions. It costs money to take the wall out. We might as well just leave it, okay? Okay, check it out. We have opened up the back wall down there. And if you thought it took forever to fill all these suckers up, now you're in for a treat because we're adding even more, baby. I'm thinking about taking out those trees and adding some there because, you know, that's more money in our pocket. Who needs this nature? But also, I was thinking, well, that'd be a nice little picnic area for the employees. But psych! More money in our pocket, so we'll probably end up cutting down the trees. But yeah, we got the road going right down this way, and the whole entire field left to fill in. And it's actually on quite a bit of a hill, which I wasn't expecting. I'm sure it'll be fine. On this episode of Jake finds out whether or not there is a maximum amount of greenhouses one can have in Farming Simulator. Can I, like... Brrp these? You know what I'm saying, dude? Well, if you ever want to know how a bunch of greenhouses would look stacked onto each other on a hill, that's kind of your answer right there. If I counted it out right, we have about 59, a little shy of 60 of them here. I figure we might as well go ahead and install our boundary here, our nice border wall. So we'll go up to about right there, and then we'll just shoot this one right across the top, and we'll stop that one right about there. Instead of these bushes, we're going to go ahead and just do a grass strip, which will add a wall onto. And there it is, all completed. We have a fully functioning massive coffee company now. And I know we could expand, but I wasn't going to expand originally. So we definitely have to limit ourselves right here. I mean, that is enough. <laughs> and this has actually taken all day long to complete. I mean, we have got greenhouses. This has taken a month long project here. None of them are even operational yet. We got to get them all running. We've set them all up with automated water systems and we have an automatic liquid fertilizer system on all the ones up beyond 
beyond the wall. The ones on this inside, we did not upgrade to that new system yet. Maybe we will eventually. And now the very fun paint painstaking task. Apply fertilizer, activate water, activate greenhouse. Many, many minutes later. Wow! I was doing some paperwork, and next thing I know, it's, it's, it's the middle of the night. Well, uh, I guess I'll see y'all in the morning here.